This is a tutorial on how to transfer a student out of your building within Power School Sys. Um, there are a lot of things to consider when transferring a student out. Um, that student could be transferred out of your district, or that student could be transferred to another building within your district. Um, we'll go over both of those processes today. So the first process we'll go over is just a typical transfer out of a student out of district. Um, so the first step, regardless of what process it is, is to drop those students' classes. So you need to go ahead and select the student that you're going to be transferring out. And I can see on the student's um, bell schedule here that the student is enrolled in a hospitality class. So I want to make sure to drop them from this course. I'm going to go down to Modify Schedule. And I can see that there's those enrollments there. I'm going to drop them from both of these courses. Drop Selected. And it's going to prompt me an exit date. So the student's last day of class with attendance was yesterday. They are not in this building today. Um, so I can transfer them out and drop them from their classes today. Um, if that student is still in your building, for one additional day, you're not going to want to transfer or drop their classes until the day after. And that's why that special mode is here too. The exit date is always the day after the last day the student was in class. And this is to um, capture attendance. PowerSchool will cancel attendance on the day that you exit them. So in this case, um, their last day was yesterday with attendance, so I'm going to exit them today, February 13th. I'm going to drop them from both of these classes, and it's as easy as that. All, both of the enrollments are gone. I'm going to go back to my all enrollment screen and just check my work. And I can see now that those two enrollments were both punched out on the 13th. <clears throat> Once you drop that student from their courses, you can transfer them out of your building. To transfer them out of your building, you're going to go under Enrollment and find um, Functions. As you can see, there are a lot of different functions that you can do to one student. Um, first, you need to transfer the student out of school. What this will do is make the student inactive within your building. So go ahead and select Transfer Out of School as your function. And here you can put um, a comment. So I'm going to say student left the district. I get to select a date of transfer. I'm going to choose today as well because I do not want attendance to be captured and it even says no attendance records found after this date. So that's good. And you get to choose a code. Um, codes might be specific to your district. So if you are confused in which code to use, just contact your pupil account. I'll just choose, let's see here, I'm just going to do this one. You can also check if that student plans to enroll next year. Because the student left the district, I'm going to leave that unchecked. Get that confirmation. And then once you have transferred out that student, um, it'll give you an alert. So that student was transferred. And I can go back to my start page, and that last name was Abdi. So now when I type in Abdi, um, I have my enabled smart search on. Um, so you can see uh, she pulls up right away, and she's grayed out, which means she's inactive. So if you don't have your enabled smart search on, you're not going to get this drop down. Um, in order to find that student again, you would do a backslash and then start typing um, that last name. And that will help you find any inactive students within your building. So here she is again. Um, so I like to leave the transferred out students within your building, specifically for state reporting reasons. You can transfer them to your past students building or graduated students building, whatever your um, district calls it at the end of the year. So this student is going to sit transferred out within this building um, until the end of the year. 